Good morning once again. My name is Sarah. I'm an instructor here at PI. I believe all of you know me by now. Beverly, hi, nice to meet you. This is Sarah from PI. Good job, uh, Juanito. So we're going to be working on this page here. And these are the things that are going to be required for this. Your box of crayons. You're going to need a glue stick and you're gonna need your scissors, okay? Scissors, glue stick, crayons. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna color. Do not cut anything, okay? Do not cut anything. Just color. I'm gonna show you guys an example so you guys have, can have an idea of what it's gonna turn out to be, okay? So this is what we're going to do. It's a little beach set. So you have the umbrella, you have the chair, the ball, the fish, and then you can be creative and make your background the way you want it. This is one example and this is the other example. See how pretty that is? So you guys could do whichever or however you guys want it color it the way you want it, okay? So we're gonna be working on that now. Okay, so we're gonna start coloring, guys. Color the chair the way you want it. All right, so I'm gonna take out my crayons here. <clears throat> what color do you want your chair to be? All right, so. I think I'm gonna do my chair. Um, I think I'm gonna do blue, but like a turquoise blue. Okay, I'm gonna use this color. Okay, just go ahead and color it, okay, guys? I gotta do something. Okay, so we're coloring. We're gonna do all the coloring first. So color your chair the way you want it. Remember these, these two are the legs. So I don't know if you guys wanna do those brown or black, or you can even do it um, the color you want, okay? Just, just know that those are the legs. So you can go around it. The, the chairs that I showed you guys, it was one stripe, one color. Like let's say this one, this color. We can color it that way. You don't have to use the same colors I'm using. You can use whatever colors you guys want. Okay, so we go to the third stripe from that. And we color it the same. We color that one. And then we go to the next, and we skip one and we go to the next. 
Okay. Normally I I do these to go over the lines just so it can look a little darker. And then this is where you fold, so don't cut that line right there. We're not gonna do any cutting right now, okay? But you can actually color that stripe. So we can we can do this. See? Like that. Then we go to the next one. The next line. We color that one as well. Okay. Okay, then we go to the next one. We're just gonna skip one and go to the next one and color that. Okay, so there we go. Normally like metal chairs or I mean, um, they're more like aluminum instead of metal but they're uh either white legs or gray gray or silver and you guys could do like i said whatever color but i'm gonna use this gray one to do the legs And then we do the next one. I'm going to do that one. Thank you. I can do it. I can do it for the young ladies. Gracias. Sí, está bien. No, sí, está bien. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, sí, por favor. <laughs> okay, so this is what I have so far. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna do the the inside of it. I'm actually gonna use this gray. This is a pretty gray. So I'm gonna do the inside gray. The, I mean the next strip gray we could do whatever color you guys want your favorite color you could use that you can also put uh polka dots on it uh you could do little stars on it if you want you could do like a little design on it Just the way you want to imagine a little trip to the beach. How would it look? And don't make it so hard on yourselves, okay? So just be creative, but you can also imagine, you know, have different ideas of how you want it. Okay, so now that we have the chair, this is going to be the umbrella, okay? So now we're going to color the umbrella. For the umbrella, I'm going to use, I'm going to use an orange color. Make it 
make it colorful. You don't have to color these two in the at the end. This one or this one because those are gonna go behind and it's gonna be covered. So only this these four right here. So just go. If you want to do the umbrella one color, you can. Okay, so we're going to color that. Just do whatever color you want. Okay. The next one I'm going to use. I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to use yellow. Normally, when it's summertime, the colors are very loud, as in bright colors. They use blues and stuff like that too, but I don't know if you ever gone to a beach and you look and everything looks so colorful. <laughs> That's because of the colors. They, they try to use a lot of bright colors on towels, on umbrellas, on chairs, you know. So it's, it's pretty nice, I guess. All right, in the next color, I don't know if I should get this one. This is a uh, blue violet. Let me use, this is violet purple. I'll use, use violet purple. This is a little bit of dark color, but when I get when I color into it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do it light, so not to put too much pressure when I'm color coloring it. Just just go very softly. If you go softly, you get like a light color instead of being dark so you color that see that and then you do your other one which is I was planning to use like a red okay so we go in the red Like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. Well, like that. And just kind of color it softly again so you could get that like soft, softer color instead of dark. You can also use dark colors like dark red and dark blue. Doesn't matter. It's however you want it, okay? All right, so your umbrella has to look like that. You don't have to color these two ends because these two ends are going to be folded in, okay? Now we're going to color the pole for the umbrella, which is in the bottom, okay? <clears throat> we're going to be doing... Let's see. Hmm... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like these guys have it here. You can either grab a marker and make you like, just different, something different, something that you wanna do.
Again, it doesn't have to be like mine. <laughs> you can do however you guys want. So what I'm gonna do is color one, skip one, color the next one, skip this one, the next one, skip the next one, color the next one, just like this. You guys see how I'm doing it? Alternating with the uh, with the color, with the like skipping a stripe and just go to the next one. And this is basically just making your own, putting your own ideas into it, okay? So that's how I'm going to leave mine. Now we're going to be coloring the fish. What kind of color do you think the fish are? I'm going to do one orange. One orange. There's a lot of different color fish out there. Okay, so don't hesitate to use whatever color you want. There's a bunch. There's a lot of fish with different colors, bright colors, dark colors. And this is not the same fish, okay? These are two different fish. One's going into the water and one is coming out of the water. So I'm going to do one orange and I'm going to do the other one. Uh, I'm going to do the other one red. There's a fish called uh, snapple, I believe, or snapper or something like that. That one is red and it tastes really good <laughs> after you catch it <laughs> and cook it, of course. Red snapper, I believe it's called, and it's really good. All right, so we got the fish. Now color your ball the way you want it. What colors do you guys want on your balls, on the ball? So I'm gonna do these light green right here. Okay. Just use it, do it however you guys want. Okay, I'm gonna do these two sides. These two sides green. You guys can see me there, yes. Okay. The center, I could probably use a, a blue green as well. Okay. Like this. Paper is far enough. Let me take this off. Okay. Just color the ball the way you want it. And this is called the beach ball. Because it's made out of plastic and. Okay, so. I'm going to leave those two white. <clears throat> okay. So if you guys have your paper all colored up, how many of you have finished already? Good job, Denzel. Good job, guys. Who else? Kurt. Good job, Kurt. Good job, Mary. You see? That's how you have all your items colored. So now we're going to do the cutting. If you guys are ready to do the cutting, okay, watch me cut, guys, because we're not going to cut on these lines. These are to fold. So we're only going to cut around the whole thing, okay? Cut around the whole thing. 
si van a cortar, corten todo por afuera, toda la línea de afuera solamente, ok? The outer line only. Nothing in between because that's where you're going to fold, ok? All right, let's begin. You guys are doing good. Good job, guys. Yes. Awesome job. All right, so I'm going to do my little strip here first. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Remember. Remember that if you go out of the line, it doesn't really, um, doesn't really matter. You're gonna go there. Cut, cut, cut. Cut your little strip down. Okay, I got my, I got my little strip. I put that to the side. Now I'm gonna cut. Now I'm gonna cut my the ball. Which I'm gonna go all around it. I'm gonna go around the ball and it's cut. Now we're gonna go and cut the fish out. Okay, we're gonna cut the fish. Remember, go outside the line. Uh, we're gonna go around, around and around the fish. And we have one little fish right there. And then we're gonna cut the other one. Okay, we're gonna be careful with these because every time you have to like turn, you end up cutting like a piece of the fish. So be careful. It happens, if it happens, it's okay. I'm just saying just in case, so you can be careful if you want your, your full fish. So this is the other little part of the fish, a different fish. Now we're going to cut either the umbrella or the chair. We're going to do the umbrella first, okay? So just cut the outer line. Just like that. Go all the way around. The outer line again. Remember, do not cut here. That's to fold. I'm gonna go here. There you go. This is the way it's supposed to, to look, okay? And we're gonna put this to the side. And now we're gonna cut the chair, okay? So let's do this. The outer line only. Okay. We're gonna cut here inward. Right here where the legs end. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. Okay. I forgot to mention too, guys, that you need a white sheet of paper. If you have cardstock, 
it's better, but if you don't, just grab a white sheet of paper because this is where you're gonna glue all the stuff. If you have a blue paper for your water, it could be a, it can be dark blue, light blue, whichever you want. You could so do be construction cutting. paper or yeah. you, you guys could, have construction paper. Yeah, you could do the back of another sheet of paper that you don't need. Just kind of like make it sort of wavy. See how this. We're gonna glue this. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be your water. Okay. So we're gonna glue that. So grab your uh, your glue stick, and we're gonna put glue. I normally just do the outside of the of the paper. Because if you do the whole thing, it just kind of wastes more glue. And you don't really need all that glue. As long as you do the outside and it pastes correctly or glues together correctly, then. So there you go. See, so that'll be your water. Um, you can do like with a marker, just like little waves here and there. So it kind of looks more like a fish. I mean, like a, like the ocean. Okay, so remember how the chair had these uh, little folding lines here? So we're gonna be folding there, okay? So you can get a, uh, a look like this, like the, the chair is actually uh, folded and stuff, okay? So you're going to fold where you see those lines right there. You see them right there and you see them in the bottom. So we're going to be folding that. And one of them is going to be down, which is this one. And the, uh, the back part is going to be up. Okay, one of them is down and the other one up. So it could look like this, see? We're going to add these legs later. <laughs> okay? So one, I'm sorry, one up and one down, okay? And we're going to glue that. You can glue it on whatever side you want. It could be here, it could be here. They also brought me this uh, this color to add like a sand, like if you want to put sand under to make it look like sand. But I'm gonna leave it for, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Hold on, okay. All right, so we're just gonna put glue on this part, the top portion only, not the whole thing, only on this part. I'm gonna put glue, okay? And you're gonna put it wherever you want on your paper. So it looks like this. Okay. You can add um, legs to it, uh, to the bottom of it, just so it could kind of look like, I'm doing, I'm actually coloring them on the white paper that, that we have. Okay. One leg looks bigger than the other. So it could have that 
I'll show you guys. See, now you have legs in the back and legs in the front. You can just color the legs onto the sheet of paper. Okay. All right, let's continue. Now, the umbrella, you're going to fold the, the corners inward, okay? And then we're going to fold the other corner like that, like that, okay? It's going to be folded in, okay? I mine I've actually kind of glued it a little together right here so it could so it could look like if it's open. It looks like if it's open. So I'm gonna add glue to the corner of this and glue it together. So it gives you that little open, okay? Just grab the two tips of the back like this and glue a little bit together so it can give you that open feel to it. See? Now we're gonna glue that to whatever spot you want your umbrella to be, okay? So I'm gonna put more glue now to the back of it. I don't, I'm not gonna put glue on all of it it can be out of the paper if you want. It's just like, you're making your own little beach, okay? So it has that. You see how this, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect on the paper. Just glue it on there. Now we're gonna glue the stick to it. Your little, your little strip to the umbrella. I kind of cut mine the other day because it's a little too long for me. You can do that too if you want, or you can just glue it all the way in. So I'm just gonna cut it. And we're gonna be using glue on the back of the strip. On the back of it. Okay, so now oops. so this is gonna this is how it's looking so far. Okay. Now you can put your ball wherever you want it. You can put it here next to the Umbrella, or you can put it over here next to the chair. Or you can put it far from both. Anywhere you want, you can just... Okay, so we're gonna put it right here. I just want that there. Now we're gonna glue our little fish. Okay. The fish, I'm going to put it right here where it looks like it's coming out. And we're going to glue the other little part of the fish. That's going to be our second fish. Oh. And we're going to glue that if it's going in the water. Okay. Anywhere you want. Okay, so this is what I have so far. See how it looks? Now, you can add a sun to it. You can add a little sun to it. Radiant. put a little happy face on it. <laughs> and 
and if you want like if you want your paper to look like if it has sand you could just grab your your um this one is apricot uh albuquerque it looks like a naked color okay so we can use that for sand i know sand is more like a tan color but you could just kind of make it look like sand color i don't know if you guys can see me yeah Make sure you put a little bit of sand on it. Go around the ball. You could have did this before too, but it's okay. It's okay, it doesn't hurt to do it after. Just color, color, color. To make it look like sand. I'm going to make it look like if it's on the sand. <laughs> the closest to... You can also use your brown color. Uh, make it light like I did the, the chairs and stuff. Yeah, so color your little sand. You don't have to, but just to make it more realistic looking. Like you're you in the also, beach. <laughs> you could also use pink. There's oh, pink yeah. sand beaches. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And black. Uh, yep. Because it looks like just to make it lighter. Yep. Let me add a little brown to it just so it could give it that feel of sand. Yep. Different color sand, guys. Beaches with different color sand. My sister just went to Florida and she said that the sand looks white. <laughs> so, there you go. Now let's color a little sun that I drew up here. We'll color the sand. I mean the sun. Not the sand, the sun. We'll go put your color. Over here in Lancaster is too hot. We don't have beaches out here, but the sun is pretty hot. Okay. So, you see how that looks? It looks like sand. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. So, has anybody finished yet? Can I see you guys' work? Anybody? Let me see, Juanito. Good job. Good job, Juanito. Okay, now glue your chair and your umbrella, okay? Let me see, Mary. You're not done yet? Okay. Oh, nice. You're almost done. Conchita, did you do it? Yeah, okay. Jose? Nice. Good job, guys, for all of you that were working on it. You see how the fish look like it's coming out, and this one looks like it's going down in the water? <laughs> I 
Good job. You guys are doing an awesome job. Let me see. Oh, Are there any questions? Oh, good job, Marcos. Marcos, good job. Good job, Marcos. Any questions that you guys have on how to fold a chair or anything like that? Oh, or the umbrella? April just got on, so. Oh, okay. Go, go ahead, April. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. What happened? I said I like your oh, outfit. It's so beautiful. Thank you. You might have this in your packet, so you could do it. Okay. Okay. All righty. <coughs> you just need a a white sheet of paper, a blue sheet of paper, so you could do your water. And then everything else you're going to be gluing into the white paper, okay? Okay. okay. At home. Good job. Anybody else? Can I see anybody else's work? Oh, beautiful, Elisa. Elisa, nice. I like it. Go ahead, Juan. Let me see Mary. You're next, Mary. Okay, Good job. Lower it a little bit down. Put it down a little. Yeah, do, do, do. Mary, let me see. No la pongas yeah, muy alto porque no la puedo ver. Hello. Okay. Good nice. Good, uh, Good job. Yeah, you're doing the beach. Keep going. Good job, guys. Yeah. Uh, nice, Juanito. Yeah, Good I did. Job. Good. But you need to put your chair in the, uh, the umbrella on. Put your chair in your umbrella. I'm going to move it here. Yeah, blew it. Okay. Thank you, Juanito. You're doing good so far. Let me oh, see the Beverly, ball. yours. Hey, I'm... Who? Denzel, did Let... you do yours? Denzel? De okay, go ahead. Denzel, let me see yours. Good job, Marcos. Good job, Marcos. I, I think Denzel is working on hers. Good job. Let me see. Oh, you haven't cut it yet, Denzel? You have to cut it so you can paste it on your sheet like this. OK? Dora, you don't get a packet. I'll put you on to get, job, so you get art stuff, okay? Nice. How do you guys like your beach? Very nice. Mary. You guys like it? Nice it turned out well? Good job, everybody. Good job. You guys did an awesome job. Oh, good job, Jose. Oh, he did it? Yeah, he did a good job. Good job, Jose. Oh, that he looks nice. water in like a corner. Yeah, he looks crazy. <laughs> That's nice. That looks nice, Jose. Yeah, I like the way he arranged that. You're, you're at the beach at nighttime. That's awesome. <laughs> who, who, right. who doesn't go to the beach at night? Everybody. A lot of people do. That's pretty Thanks, cool. Sarah. I like it. I, I, I didn't Sarah? think of that. What are they yes, April? Oh, my God. Speaking of art, I made me a hair chest right here on my head. That's oh, nice. That. That. That's nice. That's pretty cool. I made it like a little sport. Oh, mm -hmm. awesome. See? It's like an African one. I cut the gist, is it gonna just an extra long? Awesome. Oh, you just did great. Thank you. Any questions? Any any more questions, guys? You guys did a good job. Good job. You guys did an awesome job for all you guys at this project, okay?